Ryzen 3 2200G and Ryzen 5 2400G APUs were launched back in February, and we had Crimson 17.4 drivers to go along with it. Now, after 3 months, we finally got an update to Adrenaline 18.1 drivers. But did it make any difference? Don't miss the next episode and... <laughs> Just joking guys, in fact, we'll see it now. Hello guys, Asian Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and today we have a new video about AMD driver release. So we're gonna test the latest AMD driver, so the Adrenaline 18.1, 18.1 is the display driver number, against the 17.4 drivers that we had before. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> so this little boy will be tested on four games. The first one is Far Cry 5. The second one is Far Cry Primal. The third one is PUBG Player Unknown's Battlegrounds that everyone loves or not, so you can go and play Fortnite as you want. And the fourth one is Rainbow Six Siege. All these games are tested with um, with the inbuilt benchmark tools to be more equal. I would love to do side by side comparisons, but sadly I don't have a capture card and I am using the AMD Relief and. On the, the latest drivers, I can only use the AVC encoder, while on the, um, on the older drivers, I could only use the AGVC encoder. And the AVC encoder on the Ryzen 5 2400G, it's a lot more FPS than the AGVC, um, than the AGVC uh, encoder. So it wouldn't be fair and the encoders will be different and the FPS would also be different. So just graphs today. That's mostly it guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and hit like, subscribe and share the video because that helps me a lot, that helps the channel growing, mostly the share, so share if you can and hit like and subscribe and thanks a lot in advance. And don't forget to see me in the resume. As you can see, on Far Cry 5 the results are nice with the newer Adrenaline drivers giving a nice advantage on average FPS on 720p and closer results at 900p and 1080p. The minimum FPS are pretty higher at 1080p on the new Adrenaline drivers and a bit higher at 900p. At 720p the results should be the same, but I guess the game did stutter a bit more. Still, pretty nice gains, mostly on minimums. While Far Cry 5 had boosted FPS numbers across all resolutions, Far Cry Primal seems to be clearly stagnated and not affected by the driver updates at all. All values are within the margin of error and very very close to each other. So one more time, no changes seen here on Far Cry Primal. Moving to the next one. So now on PUBG, I use the replay feature to properly compare both case scenarios. As you can see, the average FPS are almost untouched, still! The minimum FPS, which are very very important for the smoothness of the gameplay, had seen a great boost across all resolutions. The biggest boost seen is at 1080p, where the 1% lows jumped from 15.8 FPS to 26.9 FPS. And believe me, you can notice that while playing. Easily, you can notice that. So don't forget, this is using the replay feature and the in-game FPS will be a bit higher as you can see on the video in the card above, on your right. Rainbow Six Siege is indeed a strange case. Of the 4 games tested, this is the only game where FPS numbers went down compared to the older drivers. We can see a constant 3 to 5 average FPS reduction and for example at 1080p the 1% lows decreased from 61 to 54 FPS and that is also noticeable. If it happens in a gameplay occasion, let's say, you will notice the drop on FPS. 
So guys, what could we see from this test? Simple. On the average FPS, on these four games, the FPS didn't change much, on average, but the 1% lows, the minimum FPS, changed a lot in most cases, and that helps a lot on the smoothness of the gameplay. Mostly on PUBG and on Far Cry 5, the difference was really noticeable while playing. We also saw that in older games, for example like Far Cry Primal, the FPS wouldn't change. There were no differences between the, um, the FPS on the older drivers and the newer drivers, so the newer drivers are mostly for newer games. That's all for today guys, don't miss these videos, these awesome videos of the Ryzen APU, the Ryzen 5 2400G that I have, that I've done, memory tests and etc. Don't miss the videos and also don't forget the next video will be the i5 6400 overclocked to 4.35 GHz by BCLK overclock with a modded BIOS on a Z170 versus the Ryzen 5 2400G CPU power only. Don't miss it. Hit like, subscribe and share the video and thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video guys. Like a